This is a very good book. In Sinu Jesu, When Heart Speaks to Heart, The Journal of a Priest at Prayer, a Benedictine monk. There is an anonymous Benedict monk that has had locutions, which means interior voice, that has come to his heart about Jesus speaking to him. And the essence of this can be seen in the cover. Here you see the cover. Jesus is sitting at the Last Supper with the bread in his hand, and he's blessing. There before him you can see a chalice. And next to Jesus, leaning on Jesus, is the, the person of one of the apostles, actually the beloved disciple, and that is uh, St. John the Evangelist. And this is at the Last Supper. This could, this could eventually become a modern diary of St. Faustina for priests, but for lay people too. And I try to give you a five-minute simple summary of this text, which I invite all of you to, to buy and read, and especially read it praying for the church, praying for priests, and praying for bishops. The essence of what Jesus is saying to, uh, to this um, Benedictine monk, as well as to us priests and bishops and religious, is that Jesus wants to establish a very intimate, deep, and profound relationship or friendship with all of us but I would say in a special way with the, with the priests. Uh, how, is this, how is this going to come, come about? Well, I'll give you the, the five char characteristic notes of this text. First is Jesus wants priests to spend time with him, but most especially to find time with him in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Never forget, we should never forget, there's been a study recently that says 70% of Catholics no longer know what, know what the Blessed Sacrament is. They don't know what the Eucharist is. There's a certain Catholic identity crisis in which they don't know what the Eucharist is. So the Eucharist is truly and substantially the body, the blood, the soul and the divinity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, really and substantially. So the Jesus talking to this Benedictine monk wants priests to spend time with Jesus in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And the second is he wants them to adore him. The greatest form of prayer that exists is the prayer of adoration. St. Ignatius Loyola, I just finished writing another blog article on Ignatian spirituality, and I wrote a close to a 2,000 word essay on what it means to, to praise God. St. Ignatius says that the, in Principle and Foundation, we are called to, we're called to praise God. We're called to reverence God. We're called to serve God, and by means of that, to save our soul. But then Jesus also says to the, to the priests, we're called also to, to reparation. Now, what does reparation mean? Reparation means when damage is done, we want to repair for the damage that's done. Now, the damage that's being done according to Jesus speaking to this Benedictine monk, is that many, many priests do not come to visit him. And he suffers. He suffers. What does he suffer? He suffers, he suffers because of the coldness and the indifference. Like it's what Jesus said in the 1600s to St. Margaret Mary Le Cook, the famous apparition of Paralimonial, in France, Jesus said to St. Margaret Mary Le Cook, Behold, 
Behold the heart that loves so much and receives only coldness, ingratitude, and indifference. This is the case, Jesus says, with many priests. Instead of manifesting, manifesting Jesus with great love and tenderance and concern, uh, Jesus says, even in the part of priests, he's just treated with great coldness and indifference. So Jesus challenges the priests to come to offer reparation for the many priests that do not have this, this heartfelt love, reverence, and devotion toward him. Then Jesus also says that among his priests, he wants them to simply love him. That's what really prayer is, as Teresa of Avila says, it's a loving relationship or friendship. So I really invite all of you um, to, uh, to get this book. Gabrielle has already said uh, from Texas, I see that you, that book and you get an automatic like, yes. I'm glad you say it, but it's really good. Uh, these locutions are really profound reflections. And if you want to make a holy hour, you want to make a holy hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament, this is a, an excellent textbook so you can make a holy hour. So I invite all of you, my friends, on, on um, Facebook, on YouTube, to get this book and also to try to maybe buy a copy and give it to your local pastor or the priest you know. Give it as a, give it, give it as a gift and encourage the priest to read through this and so that the priest can really fall in love with Christ. The authentic, one of the primary reasons why there's a problem with the priesthood is that we do not have a deep relationship with Jesus Christ. Therefore, St. John the Evangelist, St. John the Evangelist, this dear friend of Jesus Christ, is a model for priests. So I invite all of you to pray for us as priests, and we'll pray for you. So don't forget, the name of the book is In Sino Jesu, When Heart Speaks to Heart, the Journal of a Priest at Prayer, a Benedictine Monk. So I'd like to give all of you my priestly blessing, and you pray for me. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless all of you, and I hope to see you a little bit later. God bless you.